Hi, welcome. I'm Helena Davis and this is your latest health tip. Today one of my webinar participants asked, what's the best gut health test to do? This is a really good question, so let's go over the answer to this now to help you out. Stay tuned. Generally speaking, if you're suffering with symptoms such as bloating around your belly button, constipation, diarrhea or belly pain in your lower gut area, then it'd be a good idea to organise a comprehensive stool analysis test. The basic level 1 type of these tests analyses for various markers in your gut such as absorption of carbohydrates, starches, fats and meat. It also looks for any opportunistic bacterial overgrowths, yeast overgrowth, parasite infections and your beneficial gut flora levels. The cool thing is that if it does actually show up that you have some type of infection such as bacteria or yeast, they actually test different medications and herbs against what showed up so that you actually know what's going to be effective against removing this and what's not. You can also choose higher level comprehensive stool tests that actually check for things such as leaky gut, inflammation, gluten intolerance and tumours. This type of information would be important to know if you've had gut issues for a long time. If you're suffering with constipation, diarrhea or lower belly pain, plus you're getting nausea, don't tolerate fiber or high fat foods well, and probiotics make you feel worse, then it'd be a good idea to test for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, short for SIBO. To test for SIBO, it's recommended to do two different types of breath tests over two days. You can organize these online through a few different companies and have them sent to you at home. You then complete the two breath tests at home, post it back to them, and they'll send you your results once they've tested your breath samples for you. If you're getting upper gut issues, heartburn, reflux, burning pain straight after eating, or black tarry stools, it would be a good idea to ensure you don't have a bacteria in your stomach called Helicobacter pylori. This bacteria lives in your stomach, bearing little holes into your stomach lining where it lives and proliferates. You can easily test for this bacteria through a breath test, which is very good at picking up if you have an infection or not. Now if you're on certain medications, you'll be unable to do the breath test and would have to opt for the blood antigen test. Your gastroenterologist can also take a biopsy of your stomach whilst you're doing a gastroscopy to check if there's a Helicobacter pylori infection in your stomach or not. A gastroscopy is when they put a long thin tube with a lighting camera on the end down your throat into your stomach. It would be a good idea to organize this if you are getting a lot of these upper gut symptoms so that they can actually check what's happening there for you. So that's a very quick summary for you of some of the common types of gut health tests. If you'd like to learn more about this kind of thing, feel free to join my 12 week Pure Gut Health program where you'll learn deep knowledge about your gut, what's causing your symptoms, pathology testing and how you can feel well again. Please let me know if you enjoyed this video by hitting the like button, sharing with anyone who you'd feel would benefit from this and leave a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching, I'm Helena Davis and that's your latest health tip.